Influencers give us great ideas, restaurant recommendations and product reviews, but can you trust the financial advice that you get online? West Choose Anika Hope tells us what it means to be a Finfluencer and signs that you should unfollow. <laughs> there is no shortage of financial advice out there. Danny Echeverria knows her job, marriage, health. It's a balance, a balance that, like it or not, ties into her budget. It's part of your mental health. If you're stressing over your finances, your mental health is going to suffer. Danny uses her social media to find information and tips on so many things in her yeah. life. For her and so, a growing number of folks, that includes financial information. So how much did he spend on groceries? How much did he spend on going to the movies? How much did he spend on going out with friends? How much did you save slash pay yourself? So those are different things that I love to see and how people do it. There are plenty of influencers who are not only trustworthy, they're giving really excellent advice. Erin Lowry is the author of the three part broke millennial book series. Lowry says money management and financial education have often been associated with the wealthy. Finfluencers, as financial influencers are called, have changed the game. No matter where you're coming from in terms of your own background, you can probably find somebody who looks and has had similar life experiences to your own who's giving financial advice. I'm listening to someone who's on par with me as opposed to someone who's up here and I'm down here. And on one hand, that's a huge win. On the other hand, we need to learn how to vet folks. Because a Finfluencer is not the same as a certified financial advisor. Wake Forest University's Dr. Moravo Zayar says instead, Finfluencers have no direct government regulation or accountability. I don't think that they even know what the law is. I don't think that they know what the regulations are. The financial sector is so regulated, highly regulated. Financial advisors must follow laws that require advertisements and endorsements to be truthful. They must disclose conflicts of interest, follow laws to protect you from fraud and scams, and work directly with you to create individualized investment strategies, plus pass professional exams. Finfluencers are not covered under consumer protection laws, and the SEC says their posts are often heavily protected under freedom of speech. That means you have limited ability to recover money if someone steers you in the wrong direction. The SEC filed charges in December against eight social media influencers, one from Miami, accusing them of using their platforms to manipulate their followers to buy stocks. Then after their followers boosted the volume and prices, selling off their own shares without informing their followers, creating a $100 million scheme. So definitely always have your little antenna go up if the person that you're following is constantly pitching, this is the stock you should buy, this is the crypto you need to buy. It's a balance of everything. For Danny, watching people she trusts on YouTube and buying spreadsheets some influencers sell to budget, that works well for her. But just like all of the advice that's doled out, it may or may not work for you too. How cute. Who knew budgeting could be cute? <laughs> Anika Hope, West 2 News.